Welcome to episode 2 of this Houdini VEX series. Let's talk about data types and operators. In programming in general, a data type is a classification that specifies which type of value a variable has. So the most common data types in VEX are float, integer, vector and string. The float type describes a scalar value like 1.2 or 4.45 uh, or minus 3.2. Uh, the integer type describes an integer value like 1, 5, 10. The vector type consists of three float types, can describe a point in space like the position but also directions, uh, normals or colors. The string type describes a text, it holds characters and can be used to manipulate text, paths and binary data. Also to mention that there are even more types like vector2, vector4, array, struct, matrixes, dict and bsdf. Keep those in mind but let's first try to understand the more common ones since the principle is the same for every data type. To get in-depth information about every data type you can go to the side effect docs under vex and they offer definitions and also examples for every type. In order to manipulate your data in VEX, you often need to apply mathematical functions. You might want to add two integers together or compare two floats. This is where operators come in handy. VEX gives you the common mathematical operators like plus, minus, multiply, divide, modulus for that. For comparisons, there are a double equal or not equals as well as bigger, smaller and so on. One of the most common workflows is to get the data for, from your mesh, store it with the right data type and manipulate it with the operators and return the val new value for your mesh. We will stumble across all of that in the next episodes. So if you're still not sure what that means, just keep going, it's really self-explaining. In the next episode, we will take a look at attributes and variables. 